How are you feeling, bro? Pretty good. Feel okay? Yeah, a bit sick. You sick? Yeah, it's all good though. Alright, this is our little two person hotel here in France. Still a bit puffed out in the face. Can't really heal properly with this type of schedule. But we're gonna go to a vigil. Let's do it. We, went, we, we just got dropped off at the front of the slaughterhouse and there's cops and uh, security guards guarding the gate. No reception. We're going to have to go there on the other side. We're on the wrong side. Okay, so we just got the rundown about what's going on here. Apparently this slaughterhouse, it's a quite a small slaughterhouse, they drop the animals off inside and then clients will come, choose the animals and they'll be slaughtered in, in the halal way, fully conscious, head cut off and they'll buy the animals like that. There'll be no trucks coming in, this slaughterhouse is very hostile towards the activists. They sprayed water on them this morning and they've been known to chuck rocks. There's a fire inside your heart and let it light up the world. Well, he didn't miss anything except for being sprayed with water, so that's good. He missed his morning shower. His shower. I got in trouble for having my um, balaclava on in public, which is fair enough. I mean, it look like this. <laughs> look like a ninja, but it's just freezing. If you're an uh, animal activist, we are put in the same list as the terrorists right now. I guess you could change your name to a vegan advocate and do the same thing. <laughs> Militant means bearing arms to force your political views. It's ridiculous. They're both chocolate. Oh, they're both chocolate. Yeah, I thought one was coffee, but that was the nicest hot chocolate I've ever, ever, ever drunk, ever. Oh my lord, have mercy. I love them. A little bit? Ah, okay. Uh, illegal? Ah, okay. What's he say? He doesn't want to be filmed. Ah, uh, no filming. Ah, uh, okay. That's good. <laughs> so, apparently the police know who I am and they know about my biography and why I'm here and stuff, so... The vegan movement's highly um, surveillance here in France. Uh, because some activists uh, broke some butchery windows to protest about uh, the species isn't going on, so... So that's why they're under surveillance, because of the butchers being smashed up. Ridiculous when you think about all the animals that are butchered, stabbed and killed and murdered, actual violence towards sentient beings, and then a window gets smashed and it makes world news. It's pretty crazy. Imagine being selected, how scary that would be. Someone points at you. Then your head's on the chopping block. They can actually witness them be slaughtered for them. Slashed across the throat, hung up on a hook. They get to take the body parts home for their family. Scary place, so. Eh? We don't want to normalise what happens in there. We want to continuously feel the frustration and anger that goes with witnessing injustice and knowing about it happening. So vegetarians still support slaughterhouses? Yeah. Yeah, dairies. There's whole slaughterhouses dedicated to slaughtering dairy cows, yeah. Dairy is scary. And we all have to actively do something to stop it. 
each and every day, whatever that is, okay, but just something. Wouldn't mind going to a Paris Cube there and getting some footage, but um, yeah, at the moment we are pretty blind here in Paris. We don't know where to even head towards. So get, can you get in contact with us, please? All right, so I just sent a voice message to Cristiano because like we just woke up, uh, we've got a cube on. We don't know the address of the cube and no one's answering their uh, phone messages. So we don't really know what we're going to do, but I'm, I'm feeling really trashed, eh? Like it's really catching up with us, like tired, eyes just really not opening every time I have a nap. You know, still recovering from this flu, which should have been gone yesterday, but it's still here. <sighs> this is getting really tough. Like this is a tough tour. It's taking it out of us a lot. Um, without caffeine, I don't know if this would, this type of tour would be possible. <laughs> Luckily, um, we're halfway through. We're actually halfway through, so not long to go. We we'll smash it out. Oh my god, I'm tired. Eh? It's not a good idea to have another energy drink now, huh, man. No, not this time again. But I really, really, really need one, eh? Place du Palais et Royal. How's my French? Anyway, so let's just put this in uh, Google Maps, see how far it is. Okay, so it's just, it's a 15 minute cab ride. Get some trousers on, get ready, and get down there. There's no way I'm staying there till 7. It's not humanly possible. We'll stay there for an hour and then we go we have to upload this new this video the first of the series halfway into the tour of <laughs> only uploading the first video now I'm so tired right now I you regretting such a tight schedule I regret nothing The schedule's fine. It's a three week schedule. We can push ourselves. This is not a sustainable schedule. But it's a good way to get a month's worth of activism out and a couple of months worth of editing after this. So it'll keep me busy for the rest of the year. And uh, it's gonna be effective for animals and animal activism worldwide. Me put myself on the line like this um, inspires people, inspires a wave of activism. Inspired activists means animals are helped. The valley is life saving. If you know anything about doing activism, you've got to have the turtleneck valley. Doesn't make sense for compassionate God to have slaughterhouses. Makes no sense. Don't eat meat. Meat? Wow. They suffer, they desire a life of well being, of freedom, but hard. I couldn't bring anything out. Come out of there. I could do for this.